a big smell through your nose. A couple big smells. Can you take some big smells for me? You're fishing? What are you catching? Bluegill. It smells so bad. All right, so she's starting to get some slime. It's coming together. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. <laughs> it's everywhere. getting ready to take Ireland in to see uh, her dentist, get her cavities filled. She goes to a pediatric dentist, so um, he's really good. He's got a really good bedside manner with kids because that's who he deals with all day long. So I think she'll be comfortable and I think it'll be a good experience for her. I mean, going to the dentist is never super fun, but this dentist actually makes it pretty fun for kids. So. And Aspen has graduated to a different type of car seat finally, haven't you? You're big I'll enough for a one. Yep, you're big enough for a booster seat. And this one's working really well to keep this area protected on his chest. So I know some of you had some concerns about Aspen not wearing his car seat straps. And we just kind of wanted to let you know we have actually been trying to address it for a while. But we had to make sure that this type of car seat was actually safe for Aspen. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, it's just back here in a different room, so we'll be right back. Awesome. Perfect. Let's put that on. Good job. How about that? Push your glasses. Let's move that. Is that better? Okay. Perfect. And a big smell through your nose. A couple big smells. Can you take some big smells for me? Awesome. And then you're going to feel that little finger kind of wiggling in there, just some big smells. Sometimes it tastes a little gross too, so we'll wash that out, I promise. Everybody, how was your first experience at the dentist getting your cavities filled? It, I didn't call you the dentist. It hurt. Look at, look at. Yeah, she got slime from the yeah. dentist, didn't she? It's actually cold. I got a turtle. That's what I was most wanted. Yeah, There's but it has it putty that that um the big thing that about putty is about you can open the thing, grab the thing. Open this, and then you can grab the putty, and then when you take this lid off, then the putty will come right out. The putty? Yeah, and it'll show you how. So was it scary going to the dentist? Did it hurt? No. He did a really good I job, didn't he? I hope it doesn't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, you have a dentist appointment coming up, don't you? No, it won't hurt you. What'd you get from Grandma? Did she give you play jewelry? Oh yeah, hold her the pudding. See, there's that. Cool. I got a little wet stuff on my blank. Can I wear that? If you want to. Thank you. What are you doing back there? Fishing. You're fishing? What are you catching? Bluegills without killing them. Oh, you're catching them without killing them? Good yes. job. Oh, so you have to do this. Are you using your dad's fishing stringer? Yeah, you're supposed to put this in the water. Yeah, but you're catching fish with it? What you do with it? Fish. I was gonna do a haul video when I got home, but it's so hot out, you guys, that everything's starting to melt. So Matt wanted to get it in the fridge, but I'm gonna show you a couple of really cool things that we don't normally get that we picked up. One is 
Nickelodeon slime sauce. So this is supposed to be, I think, a green ketchup. Yeah, and the kids have been asking for it, so we'll see if it tastes any different. Okay, so one of the other unusual items that we got, it's something that I've had before, but I've never had fresh, and I'm excited to have the kids try it, is tree -like ripe lychees. So these are a sweet fruit, and I'm not sure where, product of China, so they're a Chinese fruit, and I'm pretty excited. They're very different than what I expected. I know that they're white on the inside, but they're like, I don't know if you can see that. They're like a brown kind of prickly, prickly fruit. And then the last thing that we picked up was, and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing this right. These are from Guatemala, fresh rambutan. So this is another, I think it's a fruit. And we, the kids thought it would be fun to try. Ireland asked to try it. It says sweet and juicy. So we'll see what they're like and try them and see if the kids like them. All right, so Ireland's gonna try the fresh lychee. Well, mm. it smells so bad. Yeah. Try it. Braxton doesn't like it. What about you, Pootie? Do you like it? <laughs> God, I'll try you it. like it? I want to try it. All right, T's going to try it. Oh, that's so gross. I can feel it. it tastes like a potato. All right, so Ireland's trying the rambutan. I think we're pronouncing it correctly. So gross. Let me go get a butter knife. How is it? Oh. Is this rambutan? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a flavor. Doesn't really have a flavor? I'm not gonna eat it, but. So, I had to bring you back into the school room and show you something that I picked up today to finish up what I've been, well, it's not finished, but to finish up what I bought for our collection of stories. So I found this for T. I got her, she loves Lemony Stick, Snickets, a series of unfortunate events. So I was able to find her a hardcover. I think this is number five. This is just for the kids for if they wanna pick them up. But I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Choose Your Own Adventure books, but I loved these as a kid. Matt loved these and I knew our kids would and I found one at the Goodwill in Dubuque. To add to our classics collection, the Swiss Family Robinson, so I found that today. And they're in hardcover, which is really cool. And then I found Around the World in 80 Days, so I'm really excited about this. I'm looking for the Time Machine and several other. Let me show other you what T's been up to, you guys. So, T has been waiting to redo a Monster High doll. And I finally, at Goodwill, found one for her. So you're doing, you're trying to restore the hair right now, right? Yep. And eventually you're gonna take her face and stuff off, right? Because you're gonna repaint her? Yes. Very cool. I can't wait to see how she turns out. So this is the before, you guys. This is Abby Bomitable, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the before, and eventually we will show you the after when she has all the stuff she needs. All right, so Ireland has been waiting for us to go to bed. Because Matt picked up this slime gloop laboratory. It's yeah, Slime Gloop Laboratory. Uh -oh. Directions are right here, honey. And Brax is actually going to help her. Zane said he didn't want to do it. So, oh, one of your little beads is in here. Yeah. So it comes with, I don't know, all this stuff. It's got... Got to get the glitter off. Yeah, it's got like all these packets of glitter and some beads. I'm going to use the glitter. You know, I don't want to use the beads because they all hurt your hands. But I'm going to make purple, so I'm going to need these colors. All right, so she's starting to get some slime. It's coming together. It's coming together. I don't know. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, cool. Oh, gross. Well, you're going to have to play with it. You want to know why? To get it to mix right? Yeah. I think I'm just going to make colored slime. Ugh. It needs a little Okay, more so we had a blowout, you guys. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. It's everywhere, you guys. Carrie! It's all over the Follow oh, me! We have an emergency. We need to get Carrie, don't step in the glue. Don't step in the slime. <laughs> Bradley, give me the big thing. Hi, okay. Carrie. Okay. We ended up with quite the mess on the table. A couple of them didn't turn out. I don't think this one did. Ireland's still working on that. 
Braxton's turned out really beautiful and this one that Ireland and I made back here turned out really good so they still have a lot of the stuff it was really messy at first but it's come together really well so they still have quite a bit of stuff left they can make more if they need to I think these ones they might have mixed something a little bit in the wrong order and that might be why Wait, let's jump out this water. All right, so T has part of her doll done. Yes. She got the hair fixed and she redressed her in some new clothes. And she looks really pretty, you guys. Big difference from when she came home. Hmm. So she's you're going to redo her, all of her face eventually, right? But she doesn't have the right paints to do it yet. So for now, she's just dressed in actual Monster High gear. All right, so it's kind of dark in here because it's late. But I had to show you T put her new doll in place. So I can't wait to get to show you guys when she finally has her completely finished. But yes, she has a home now. She wasn't sure if she'd have enough space and she found some on the bottom shelf. 